What is up guys and welcome back to Keeping Up With Crypto. My name is Sean and I'm back. Sorry I've been gone for a little while. A couple days I've been uh, working on some other projects but I'm back and let's go ahead and get into it. Uh, today's video is going to be about Tron. So Tron, uh, Tron Foundation and Justin Sun, they announced this on Twitter and linked the post from Medium. Tron's first beta version, Exodus, will be launched on March 31st. So we all knew that there was going to be a big announcement for March coming up. And that's kind of why I told you guys I was holding all of my Tron until about the end of March. Because they were saying that something big was going to come out. So today Tron officially announced the latest progress of the project development. Showing that the main network function, we are all set. We're all set and it will be launched on March 31st. This should be the second important upgrade after the open source December 29, 2017. <laughs> um, let's see. We also learned from Chen Zizing, the leader of Tron's technical department, that during the R&D of the mainnet, it integrated the advantages of multiple blockchain systems and proposed and realized the following core functions. With UTXO-based trading models, history transactions can be transparently tracked through the public ledger. Uh, UTXO boots concurrent. Processing compatibility and enhances network performance. Create the concept of transaction account that is consistent with the real world application through an abstraction based on UTXO technology. Um, and they go on to say that they can achieve over 1,000 transactions per second with their POS based TBFT consistency mechanism. Which this is what I was most intrigued about when I read through this was the 1,000 transactions per second on a POS based system. That is something that could be used in the real world. That's that's something that we could definitely use more like a credit card for sure. Um, support ultra low fee transfers. So you can see that they have extra, I don't even know what number this is, but um, they're promoting low fees for transfers. So that's always good. Um, they're gonna provide a secure execution environment for smart contract bytecode with Tron virtual machine. Uh, Tron Virtual Machine has following advantages, lightweight, fast loading, resource isolation, high scalability, um, so on and so forth. And what's really cool about these smart contracts is they're going to be able to be written with Java, which is a very common uh, script that it, it's pretty easy to learn. It's pretty easy for people to use, so nothing too, too complex, which I think will help with mainstream adoption as far as coding goes. And to be able to create smart contracts like you have on Ethereum's network with something as simple as Java is is cool, in my opinion. So they're coming out with a product, you know, all you guys hating on Tron. And the main reason, and I don't blame you, the main reason was because they did not have a working product. It was mainly hype and everything like that. So We'll see what happens March 31st when they come out with this beta version of Exodus and we'll see how the launch goes. We'll see if it's successful. We'll also see what it does to the price and everything like that. Um, it'll be very interesting to see. Like I said, um, Tron has been going down, down, down lately like a lot of other coins in the market, but Tron specifically has been going way down. It's one of those altcoins that is heavily manipulated and I can definitely see it skyrocketing um, around March 31st as the news comes out it'll be people jumping in FOMOing into it and also uh, the big wells will be pumping it so that people do FOMO into it and on that note you're just gonna have to figure out when the best time to sell is I'm I like Tron for the long term but it's a short-term play for me uh, I'm gonna hold a small position of Tron for the long term but I'll be honest with you majority of my position um, once it reaches that 50 cent if it goes anywhere from 50 cents to a dollar, I'm going to I'm gonna sell my position, majority of it, and take profits. And that's something you guys have to realize that with how volatile cryptocurrency is right now, especially here in the last month, um, it's very important to take profits at these times. And so whenever Tron does go up around this March 31st point, I do plan on taking profits from Tron. Uh, so if you are holding any Tron, you know, beware. Uh, that March 31st is going to be that time where you really need to pay attention. But that's all I really had to say. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Xander's been doing a great job here keeping up videos on the channel. So big shout out to him. I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks.